Hello there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and theloopylamb.com and thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Today we're back with another project as part of our 2023 Amigurumi Advent Calendar Crochet Along. This project is week nine of the Crochet Along and this week we are going to be making these really cute superhero capes for our dolls. So these crochet superhero capes are a quick and easy project. They're easy to customize. And I've also included some great customization tips over on my blog, theloopylamb.com. So once you're done making your cape, you can head on over there and get some great ideas on how to make this cape extra special for the little ones in your life. So let's get to covering the materials that you're going to need in order to follow along with today's tutorial. To follow along with today's tutorial, you're going to need a worsted weight yarn in your color of preference. I'm using We Crochet's Bravo worsted weight line here, and today's color I'm using is denim. The original sample that I made that you'll see images of on my blog, loopylamb.com, I used the color red for that cape, but feel free to use whatever color is working for the palette that you're using for your crochet along project. You're going to need a three and a half millimeter or E crochet hook. Again, if you're following along with the crochet along so far and you've used a nether crochet hook size to match the gauge given in the pattern, I recommend staying with that hook size for this project. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. So let's clear my space here and we'll get ready to start making our superhero cape for our dolls. To start our crochet superhero cape for our doll, we're going to be needing to start with our yarn and our hook, and we're going to create a slip knot. So we're going to hold the tail end of our yarn in our hand like this, pin it down with our thumb and wrap it around our fingers from front to back and back to front. Then we're going to cross our yarn over itself like this, and then flip our hand over, bringing the yarn with it over our knuckles, and then we're going to pin the yarn down with our ring finger. Take your crochet hook and slide it under that first strand over the second and then pull that second strand out and under the first strand and then transfer it all off of your fingers and onto the hook. Then you're going to grab your yarn tails and pull the slip knot up and onto your hook and you're ready to start crocheting. We start our superhero cape with a chain of 20. So to do that, we're going to yarn over and pull through the loop on our hook and that creates our first chain. And we'll do that again, yarn over and pull through the loop, that's two. And we're going to continue to do this yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook until you have 20 chains. So if you'd like to pause your video, meet me back here when you have 20 chains, I will meet you back here when we're ready to start row one. All right, so I'm back and I have my chain of 20 and we're ready to start with row one. So we're going to start by creating a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So when you're trying to identify the second chain from the hook, you never count the chain or the loop that's on your hook. You're going to identify the first chain right next to the hook and that's right here where my finger is. And we're gonna count over two. So we're gonna go one and two. So I'm gonna place my finger right next to that chain so I can uh, easily identify it when I need to insert my hook to do our first stitch here. So we're going to yarn over hook like this and insert our hook into that second chain like so. Then we're going to yarn over hook and pull up a loop. So at this point you should have three loops on your hook and you can count them one, two, and three. And then we're going to yarn over hook again and pull the yarn through all three loops on our hook and that creates your first half double crochet stitch. So now that we have our first half double crochet, we're ready to start our second. So we're going to yarn over hook and insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook to create our second half double crochet. And I'll show you how to do that half double one more time. We're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. There's three loops on your hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops and your stitch is completed. So now you just need to work one half double crochet into each remaining chain across. At the end of this row, you should have 19 stitches. 
So if you'd like to pause your video and meet me back here at the end of the row, I will show you how we're going to move on to row two. So I am back and I'm at the end of row one and this is what your piece should look like at this point. And if you turn your work towards yourself and you can see these V's along the top of your piece, if you count the V's along the top, you should have 19 stitches. So now we're ready to move on to row two and we're going to start row two by yarning over and pulling through the loop on your hook to chain one. Then we're going to turn our work so we're working from right to left. If you're left-handed, you should be working from left to right. So now that we've done what's called our turning chain, that chain one now, we're going to work one half double crochet into each stitch across. And we're going to start in this first stitch here. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook under both loops of that first stitch. Then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Again, three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. All right, so at this point you should be old hat at making half double crochets. So we're just going to work one half double crochet into each stitch across. So if you'd like to pause your video, meet me back here at the end of row two, I'll show you what we'll be doing for rows three through 11 at the end of this row. So I just finished row two and our piece should look like this. And again, you should make sure that at the end of each row that you count the V's along the top of your piece to make sure that you have 19 stitches. So for rows three through 11, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to yarn over and chain up one and turn our work. And then we're going to work one half double crochet into each stitch across starting in the first stitch. So if you'd like to pause your video and do rows three through 11, working one half double crochet in each stitch, I'll meet you back here at the end of row 12, where we're going to start shaping the top of our crochet superhero cape. So I'll meet you back here in just a few moments. So I'm back and I just finished my last stitch of round 11 and your piece should look like this at this point in the project. And we're moving on to round 12. So to do that, we're going to yarn over and chain up one for our turning chain, and then we're going to turn our work. For rows 12 through 16, uh, 15, we're going to be starting to decrease our uh, cape a little bit to give it some shape at the top. So we're going to start row 12 with a half double crochet decrease. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So to do the half double crochet decrease, <laughs> we're going to yarn over our hook and insert our hook into the first stitch. Then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So if you spread your loops apart on your hook so you can see them all, you should have five stitches on your loop or your hook there, and you're gonna yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that's your half double crochet decrease. <laughs> and so now we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. So we're gonna yarn over and just do a normal half double crochet in the next 15 stitches. All right, so I've got my 15 half double crochets done and I have two stitches left to be worked in the round. And what we're going to do is we're going to do another half double crochet decrease. So I'll show you how to do that again, yarning over and inserting into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have three loops at this point. Then you're going to yarn over and insert into the last stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. All right, again, if you're wanting to double check that you have the right amount of loops, you should have five loops on your hook. So then we're gonna yarn over and pull through all five loops at the same time on your hook to complete your stitch. At the end of row 12, you should have 17 half double crochets. And now we're ready to move on to row 13. So we're going to yarn over and chain up one and turn our work. And we're going to do row 13 very similarly to what we did in row 12. We're going to start with a half double crochet 
decrease. So again, yarning over, inserting into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have five loops on your hook and then you can yarn over and pull through all five of those loops at the same time. And now you're ready to move on. So now we can place one half double crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. If you don't want to count, just half double crochet across until you have two stitches left to be worked. If you'd like to pause your video here, I'll meet you back here after doing my 13 half double crochets and I'll show you what we're going to be doing in those last two stitches. All right, so I've done my 13 half double crochets. I have two stitches left to be worked. And if you've guessed that we're doing a de another decrease, you've guessed right, we're doing another half double decrease in this stitch, or these two stitches here. So yarning over, inserting into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. All right, and I'm just gonna lay this flat so you can see where we're at here. You can see that we're starting to have that decrease happening on the edge of our fabric. So we're ready to move on to row 14. So we're going to yarn over and chain up one and turn our work. And again, we're going to start this row with another half double decrease. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the first, yarn over, insert into the next. And then we've got five loops on your hook. And then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all five loops. And then we're going to do one half double crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. Again, if you don't want to count, you can just half double crochet along the top of your row until you have two stitches left to be worked in the round. So I'm going to get you to pause your video here and do your 11 half double crochets. And I'll meet you back here at the end of the row to show you what we're doing in those last two stitches. So we're at the end of the row. We have two stitches left to be worked and we are going to be working a half double uh, crochet decrease in those last two stitches. Now at this point, if you have a stitch marker handy and you're finding that you are losing track of your first and last stitch, because that's uh, not uncommon when you're doing these decreases, the, as the decreases do tend to get pulled down to the sides. So if you have a stitch marker handy and you would like to use that as a support, this is a, um, it's totally cool to just put one in the first and or the last stitch to help you keep track of those so you don't pick up or lose any stitches. At the end of row 14 here, we should have 13 stitches across the top of our piece. Now moving into row 15, we're going to yarn over and chain up one and turn our work. And we're going to start this row again with another half double crochet decrease over this first and second stitch here. And then we're going to half double crochet once into each of the next nine stitches. Again, if you don't want to count, just half double crochet again across the top until you have two stitches remaining. All right, so if you'd like to pause your video, I'll meet you back here in just a moment to show you what we're doing in the last two stitches. So I'm at the end of the row. I have two stitches left to be worked and I'm just going to do a half double crochet decrease in those last two stitches. All right, so now that I've got my decrease done, I have 11 stitches left in this uh, row and I'm ready to move on to row 16. And in row 16 here, we're going to be creating the uh, ties that will um, tie the superhero cape around the neck of our dolls. So to start row 16, we're going to do a chain of 25. So yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook yarn over and pull through. And you're gonna to continue to do this yarn over and pull through until you have 25 chains. So if you'd like to pause your video and meet me back here when you have 25 chains, I'll be back in just a moment. So now that I have my 25 chains, I'm going to turn my work so that I'm working from right to left down my chain. Again, if you're right left-handed though, you're working in the opposite uh, manner there. And so now that we have our 25 chains completed, we're going to start with a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. So again, you're skipping that first stitch or the first chain and working into that second chain. We're going to insert our hook into that chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have two loops on your hook. Then you're gonna pull that loop that's on your hook 
the first one here and pull it through the other loop on your hook. And that's your slip stitch completed. And what we're going to do is we're going to work one slip stitch into each of the chains that we created. So working into that next chain, yarning over and pulling up a loop and then pulling that loop through the loop on our hook. And we're just doing that over and over again, working down the chain and back to the body of our piece. So if you'd like to pause your video and do one slip stitch into each chain that you created, I'll meet you back here when we're done at the end of the chain to show you how to move on to the next tie. All right, so I'm back and I just finished my slip stitches in each of the chains. You should have 23 slip stitches here. And now we're in a position where we're back at the top of our piece. And so we're going to work one single crochet into each of the stitches across the top. So working into this first stitch, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And you should have two loops on your hook there. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that's your single crochet completed. And I'll show you that single crochet again, inserting into that next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Two loops should be on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And you're just going to single crochet once into each of these stitches across the top of our cape. So this is what your piece should look like at this point. And so now we're ready to start our next tie. And to do that, we're going to do another chain of 25. So if you'd like to pause your video, meet me back here after you've done your chain of 25, I'll show you how to do the next steps for finishing your tie. All right, so I'm back and I have my chain of 25, which will become the second tie on the top of our superhero cape. And we're going to work this tie in the same manner we did our first. So starting in the second chain from the hook. So again, counting that as one, this is two here. We're going to slip stitch into that second chain from the hook. And then we're going to do one slip stitch into each chain that we created. So at the end, you should have 23 slip stitches. So if you'd like to pause your video again and do the 23 slip stitches down your chain, I'll meet you back here at the end of the chain to show you how we're going to finish off our superhero cape. So I'm back and I just finished all of my slip stitches down my chain here to create my second tie. And now we're ready to finish off our piece. And so you can see that the side of the cape is facing me. This is, I'll lay this flat so you can see it a little better. So we've got our two ties and I just finished my slip stitches and now we've got this side of the cape facing us. So I'm going to do a slip stitch into the side of row 15. So row 15 is that last row of half double crochets and just inserting into the last stitch there, I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop and then pull that loop through the loop on my hook to slip stitch. And that's going to help secure this tie in place. So that way it's not flopping around and it uh, looks more cohesive because it's joined to the side of your piece. So at this point you can cut your yarn, leaving it, tail about four to six inches there. And then you can just pull that yarn all the way through your slip stitch and pull that to tighten. And there you go, that's nice and secure. So then you would just use your yarn tail and thread it onto your tapestry needle. And then you would just weave in your ends at this point. All right, so I've pulled that to the back so you can see that. And there is your superhero cape for your doll. It's super quick and easy and it's fun to customize. Um, I cannot show you how to do any sort of licensed character type things for the superhero cape, but if you wanted, you could create a little emblem or embroider your child's uh, letter onto the back to make them their own personalized superhero cape. So that's it. That is how we create a doll superhero cape. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to this channel. If you have any comments or questions, I would also love to hear from you. Please leave those in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and I'll try to help you in any way that I can. 
If you enjoy free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylamb.com, where we have hundreds of free crochet patterns and video tutorials like this one. So that's it for me today, friends. Thanks so much for watching. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.